So let's have a look at this power snatch technique. We can see here Kira Lumbering, professional track cyclist. So, okay, let's have a look at the full movement first. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also in half speed. Okay. Yep, so let's look at it. Okay, so the setup is okay. I would much rather see the hip a little bit lower and the knees are behind the bar. So actually the knees should be in the start position a little bit in front of the bar. So that is something that can be adjusted here. And then also what we see here is the rise of the hip. So if we would draw a line, again, so this is the hip. So where's my slider? So this is the hip and then Plus the back is not fully straight. So I guess you get the idea, yeah? So the hip rises a bit faster than the shoulders. And you can see here the arms already bent. The arms should be straight. And then if you look at the toes and the foot, you can see she's already on her toes before the extension of the knee and hips are completed. And then a strong extension and a very solid catch. So the catch is fine. The only thing you see here is the, this foot moves out a little bit too much and that's what you see now when she comes up the first thing she adjusts is putting that foot back in okay so key points here changing the start position and then keeping the arms a little bit longer extended or keeping the arms relaxed let's put it like this so not pulling actively with the arms and then working on the sequencing of the extension so hip knees and ankle so you can we can see here the ankle is extended before the knee and the hip is extended and finishing with the strong catch yeah so the main the main focus for this exercise to improve would be in the first part of the lift. So get the start position right, first and second pull, because this one looks pretty good. Yeah, so working with pulls from the ground and from the hang, focusing on getting the right triple extension